Hey guys, welcome back to Project Anonymous and in today's video, we're going to show you how to split your design in half in Inkscape. So let's get to it. So why would you want to split your design in half? Well, mostly for your repositional hoop designs, you have to split it in half in order to get the space embroidered on both sides. So for instance, in your sweater design, we had to split that design in half in order to reposition the hoop to get the second half done on the embroidery machine. Now what we didn't cover in that is if you have a fill area over that part that you need to split in half, we kind of did it a little easier with text and we just split the text in half. But there is a way to split whole designs in half and we're going to show you how to do that uh, on a big hoop design today. Mm -hmm. Should we get to it? Let's get to it. So we're in our 5 by 12 hoop template and when you use your 5 by 12 hoop you need to do this in multiple operations. That means two files so you'll have to cut one of your designs in two parts so you can use it. Right and when we did your hoodie we were able to cut like right in the middle of the text here so that there was no we didn't really really have to break apart anything uh, we just kind of ungrouped this part of the text from this part of the text but what if your design has a background like this this is one single shape and it's not cut in half but we'll show you an easy way to cut it in half um, in order to cut it in half you really just use your bezier tool and you decide where you want to cut it so let's just Go ahead and draw a line here. I'll hit control to make sure we have a nice straight line. Right there. And enter. So now you can see that if I were to cut this right here, I'm gonna be cutting into the, the G here, as well as this background. And we need to separate these files into two separate files. Well, what we need to do is we need to count how many objects we're going to be cutting through. Now the easy way we can just click over here and see how many objects that we have. Uh, so we have three total objects, one of which is our line that we just drew. And then we got our text and our background there. So we have two total files that we're going to go through. The other way you can do it is, I mean, obviously if you've made this design yourself, you can, you'll know what's back there, but you could kind of move each object individually and see, hey, is there anything behind there that I'm cutting through? Nope. And then Command-Z to put it back. Uh, but either way, we'll get you, get you there. Now, the reason you want to count the number of objects is because you need that amount of lines to duplicate. So we're cutting through two objects, so we need two total lines. So we're going to select our line and hit Command-D to duplicate. Now, it doesn't look like anything is done, but you'll see an object was added here. And if we move this line, you can see there's the line, it's, it's there. So now we have two total lines, okay? So now all we need to do um, with text is a little bit different. Uh, so I'll go ahead and show you that. Right now, this is all grouped together as one, you know, really big object. We actually need to ungroup this for this to work right. So we're gonna go to object and ungroup. And you'll see that all, all of your letters are individual. And we are really concerned about the G. We're not concerned about any of this stuff, so that's okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select our G that we're splitting, and we're gonna hit Shift to select our line. And then we're gonna go to Path, Division. And now you can see it drew a little box around each of these little bits of the G because it's now split. And that's exactly what we wanted. See? So I'll put that back. Now all we do is we grab the second line that we duplicated, hit shift, grab our background, and do the same thing. Path, division. So this looks a little odd, I realize, but what happened is this is a stroke around your, your fill area. And when you cut it in half, it decided, Inkscape decided to fill in that stroke around the area that you just cut. Mm -hmm. So it's actually two strokes on top of where you divided. Well, obviously that's not what we want, yeah. right? So we need to go into the node tool. 
Okay. And then we're just going to click on this line and you'll see that we've selected the nodes or the line, the segment between these two nodes that highlighted. And when you have that, you can go ahead and click this remove segment, delete segment button. We do that and you'll notice nothing changed. Well, that's because we just deleted one of those strokes. So now we need to select the other one and you'll see the other set of nodes where we split is highlighted and we'll hit the same button and now it went away easy right select half of our design where about where we split it you can see we split our design in half it's really cool yeah so we can leave it lined up here and again, this node snapping tool is really helpful in putting it right back to where it goes. And we can move this to another layer. So now you can see there's my part one. Part one and part two. Now, of course, we would, what we would do if we were going to actually embroider this out on a sweater or shirt or whatever we're going to embroider it out on is we would make that reference point mm -hmm. because our machine doesn't recognize the origin command. But obviously, if your machine does recognize the origin command, just putting an origin that's common to both sides uh, would help you. But because we can't do that, we would just create some kind of unique um, start and stopping point. And then we would duplicate that and put it on both parts. We talked about yeah, this we in did one this of our in, videos. Yeah, watch our 5 by 12 video for that piece of it. But again, this is how you can split mm -hmm. kind of a single shape fill into two parts that you could then move your hoop and then it finish it out. So you have one big embroidery design. Mm -hmm. To the person who requested this video, thank you. Yeah, if you have any ideas that you'd like us to discuss or talk about or learn or try to help you with, Go ahead and comment down below and we'll see what we can do. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like if you liked it. Like it. Subscribe if you enjoy our content. Subscribe. And turn on those notifications so you get my every single time we post a video. Stay crafty. And be happy. Bye.